Man, Carlos Miller just here to let you know that we are expanding the merchandise department. Look at this, check out these pastel colors that we got. You feel me? What's that, light purple? What's that like? It's a boy blue? What's this right here? This like, oh, you think you cute? You just think you cute with this shit on, don't you? Look, that's right. That's 85 South. Make sure you go hit the website, 85apparelco.com. And I'm telling you, we taking over, bro. I think the ladies is going to really enjoy these right here. And I'm talking about for all the hustlers out there. That's if you're still living. Grab you something that say 85 South on it, bro. I'm talking about a t-shirt. I'm talking about a hat. I'm talking about some socks. I'm talking about a something. It ain't nothing to it. Hit the website. It's right here. You see where my fingers point? That's where the website go. Make sure you put the website right here. But look, go out there and support the 85 South Show. Yeah. We going to where? San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio? I think it's like Freeman's Coliseum or something. Is I, it Freeman? Freeman? That's where we're Coliseum. going. Appreciate that, Craig. Because that's where we're going, Craig. How the hell you going to get yeah. fired on your all day, Craig? That's Craig. Because we're going to San Antonio. Don't worry about it. When I go home to San Antonio, mm -hmm. where the buffalo roam, uh -huh. I'll be there. Say no more, man. Ride the buffalo. I get my tickets from 85southshow.com. But usually I just show up to these shows and tell them I'm Carlos Miller and don't even get no tickets. Facts. I'm on the talent. Come on, man. We ain't bullshitting. Better yep. bring your ass, San Antonio. August 25th. <laughs> where we going? You see it. Where we going, Joe? <laughs> What city? Oh, we in Fort Worth, Texas. But we in Fort Worth, Texas at that little spot. Tell them. We'll be at Dickies Arena. <laughs> you know, like Dickies, like the work pad. Yeah, that's where we're going. Yeah, that will be there. Fort mm -hmm. Worth, come fuck with us, man. D I C K. Oh, that's the Stop, man. You just wanted to spell dick. I E. I thought we were going to rap with Crazy, Dream. man. <laughs> we can't sell tickets like that. You playing. <laughs> hey, come Dream. check us out. We'll be in Dick Fort Dream. Worth, Texas. <laughs> It's going down. <laughs> you can get your tickets at the website, yeah. 85southshow.com. Wait, you need to move around a bit. Man, Fig gonna send your ass so far. You got, you right, you got a hell of a leeway. They're gonna send your ass to the mountain. <laughs> it, was, it was snowing every day. Every day you walk out, it's snow uphill. You tell us in the mountains, you know, I ain't see a black person in about four, five months. You know, Damn. you know we from the west side. You know when I seen a nigga, I was so happy. <laughs> you ain't seen no black person in like four, five months. Hell nah, I ain't, see, I ain't seen not one black officer in like done a year. For real? Or, or no medical black person, no name. So you the only black motherfucker there? Shit, they Shit, do that. That's what it felt like. What did they do that? Cause you know in the feds, it gotta be like, it gotta be like, um, even. Like, it got to be 33%. That ain't even, nigga. You the only nigga. Yeah, but damn, them people don't be like that. Some of them be like, the staff, no, not one black person, but they'll put inmates. Oh, okay, okay. But they don't be like, people of us. That ain't even be from the South most of the time. So, like, you automatically not knowing how to even approach this situation. Right. Damn. You see a nigga from, from the South, he's like, you from the South, you from Mississippi? You my family. But you what? Right. Family, you gotta get that nigga a hug. <laughs> For real, boy. Mississippi niggas everywhere. Man, I love Mississippi niggas. I love them niggas, boy. That's some good niggas in Mississippi. Tell me about it. I just happen to be from that mother. Y'all some hard working niggas. <laughs> I ain't better say that, man. That's, uh, that's some other shit we could do. No, I'm saying like y'all. Y'all some hard working niggas. Look at that. Nigga, we from Mississippi. He took that ass like you called me a slave. We some other. I ain't saying you were no slave. We all some good working boys. I said, fuck you, man. Y'all ain't lazy. No, the fuck we ain't lazy. <laughs> you give a Mississippi nigga a couple of minutes. What you mean? What you mean? Hard working? I'm a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> we don't be doing a goddamn thing. You don't you label me nothing. My dad from Mississippi. Yeah, what part? I don't even know what part. Damn. But they caught up with me when I was in prison. I think Wayne's, Wayne's something. Who, your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> Caught up with you when you was in jail. Nah, my dad did it. Oh, hell, my man. bad, boy. You, you the way you said it. Let's <laughs> say my daddy side of the family. Oh, okay, okay. They okay. see me on CNN. Oh. They like, I remember him. That's 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 big man's son. Damn. And then they wrote me and shit like that. But then after a couple months, it started being about money. Right. 
Hey, I'm fucked up down here. In jail? Oh, yeah, they don't care about. You know, they care about rich niggas in jail. That shit don't count. <laughs> <laughs> rich niggas don't got damn. They ain't thinking about Hell, that. I can't go to the bank account in here. What's up, my boy? Gangster. I know what's up, man. You good? Pleasure to meet you, bro. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you. Man. What's, what's up, brother? You making everybody up, spell up. Spell it. AKH? Yeah, he cheated. How the hell you do that? He's a philosopher. I, I told you. I lived it, though. I was just, it's gotta be. He was a Muslim at one point in time? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said it quicker than you. I know. You I thought know, it was AHK. Gonna... I signed mine up. Ah, key, ah, what's up? What's up? Because it's. I'm uh, from Mississippi. I'm glad y'all ain't asked me. I was going to say O-C-K. Nah, I don't want to say it because then I'm going to be wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say some more shit that I'm going to be yeah, wrong. I used to like, spell it like you. Right. And then I started spelling it like him, but when I went to prison, I learned that. He oh, okay. Right. So they yeah. told you, so you were like Nachi. Nah, I was like wrong. him. I was like him, O-C-K. <laughs> then I graduated oh, and I was like... I bet your mother broke okay. like, uh, young brother. Oh, uh, they were giving me. What is this? Now I went to Reen. <laughs> I went to Reen and Reen and learning the Arabic. So you could, you could read yeah. Arabic? Yeah. You could... You could Say a full sentence in Arabic. Yeah. That shit hard to hear. Say something. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. What the fuck you just said? <laughs> don't do that, bro. Don't do that. <laughs> Everybody in here got quiet like, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's real. Yeah, hey, yeah. That's real. Whatever he said, hey. that's what he wants. I know that's what I'm saying. You can't respond to that. <laughs> you asked him like you knew what he was going to say. Well, bro. I, I agree. Well, like, so, well, I know when you, you, you finally tapped in, like, I know, like, the first day, because right now I'm at the first day. Like, this shit hard in here to pronounce, recite. It's like, I, I, I went to the first stage like, ten times. I'm going to go back to the first stage. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just hard, boy. Because yeah. you got to continuously, like, to speak it in order for you to, like, actually grasp it. Nah, it's just, what, where I fucked up at was learning from niggas, like, transliteration. Like, oh, you got to say it like this. They actually, so now I got all of this programmed in my mind, all these different chapters of this book right. programmed to my mind. So now that I know the right version, I'm still saying the wrong. You gotta rewrite, you gotta damn near relearn it. And that that's that's the fucked up part. It's hard. So I be trying to forget a lot of old stuff. Right. So I can rebirth it in my head. Did you did you find uh did you become a Muslim? When you was in prison, or you was already at I was in 901 Right Street. They were for prison. So you went to Right Street. Yeah. So what made you turn in? Because, you know, they got the two different ways. Nigga get in it because they mm -hmm. see. Right. And then niggas actually like, nah, man, I actually got to get in tune with God. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, they were back when we were going to the detour and shit. You know, no, I know. I know so you, like, nigga. So, like, one time, um, a little girl got paralyzed in a situation. Right. So at first, you know, when the grid shit happened or whatnot, I was going to court and shit, and I used to be super Christian. Right. I had got baptized and all that. My pastor used to come to court, juvenile court. Right. When I was juvenile court, I was trial. So when he kept coming to court, I went and found God. <laughs> so I used to go to church and shit. So I, I got, when they started telling me they were finna give me a juvenile life sentence, you right. know, that shit felt like forever. You right. know, like, you do five, ten years in juvenile, and you ain't never got down 14 years old. You looking at that shit like, right. wow. So what had that happen was, I got through that shit. The judge let me, you know what I'm saying? I got me a little job at Kroger and all of those shit. And, you know, two years, a year in, out. Shit, I went to shoot more people. I just went crazy. And then I was like, man, I can't go back to church. He said, my God, they gonna forgive me. This nigga just, he just forgave me. Right. So when I got in Rice Street for all these different crimes, I seen everybody going to church. I'm like, damn, I ain't, I ain't been to go over there fucking with all <laughs> So one day I just go, I started sneaking in church, sitting on the sitting in the back. You know what I'm, saying? I'm sitting in the back because I see all them, you know, when niggas in jail, but God is good, but like right. Everybody in that motherfucker going to the, going to the little thing. I don't give a fuck. If it's a Catholic white man teaching, you going in that bitch. Right. You just want to go in there. You want to hear something positive. Everybody got their Bibles and shit. It, 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 sometimes it ain't nothing else to do. So I start going. And then they start saying, um, they start, you know, at the end, they always be like, if anybody want to be saved, come down, take this crazy. You're trying to save. Yeah, no. I don't know that, right? 
So I started asking questions. I had not never asked questions because, you know, my grandmama, my mama, you know, we're in right. the bluff, so they take us to church every Sunday and shit, so it wasn't, it wasn't no question. I started asked. wanting to know about religion. So goddamn, they put me in this program, this drug program. It was like NAAA, and it, it was all kinds of class. We studied from 8 o'clock in the morning to like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Right. And when I was in that motherfucker, I just started picking up other religious books. I started studying Rastafarians. Mm -hmm. I started studying um, the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. I started studying um, just all the different faiths. And when I picked up the Quran, that's the one that I kind of like felt like, oh, this one, this, this Rallo, this, this, I can stand on that type of shit. Oh, oh yeah, like. So it started talking to me, and then another Muslim nigga walked past me. It, it wasn't even a lot of Muslim in there. It was just one Muslim nigga, and of course his name was Muhammad. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> I asked the nigga like, "Hey man, tell me about the religion." You know what I'm saying? Then I asked Lil, Lil Alert, you know NBC Lil Alert. Mm -hmm. They call him Lil Kevin. He be with um. He be with uh, Charles and White every day now. But, you know, he had a situation at that time. He had a conviction. What? And he had shot a nigga and born home. Oh, we've been found guilty of all these crimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that ain't that new shit. Yeah. Right, right. And, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, he had shot a nigga and born home. And got down. Me and him had the same judge. And he, me and him were blood. Both of us were blood. He was BBA 9 Trey, I was BBA 9 Trey. Mm -hmm. So, goddamn, I asked the nigga, I was like, man, I want to be a Muslim nigga, because he knew about the Muslim shit, because he was already in prison and shit. He like, man, you you just going to go out there shooting people selling dope. I know you ain't finna be on no Muslim shit. I'm like, nigga, I want to be a Muslim nigga. You know, not <laughs> teach me how to do the shit. Like, you know, nigga going out there doing all that shit. I want, what the hell I supposed to do? But he would never teach me, so I, I fuck that nigga. He, he know I always be one to whoop his ass about that. <laughs> but anyway, goddamn, the tall Muslim nigga, he was quiet. Tall nigga, you know, them niggas, you know, them niggas quiet, you know. Niggas that's quiet in jail, you really just don't fuck with because them niggas might have killed their mama or some shit. So what? I went over there asking nigga, I'm like, man. I want to be a Muslim. He like, who oh, young brother? I'm like, man, nigga, don't be young brother. Nigga, I don't do all this. Tell me what's up. Right. So the nigga converted me. I ain't know what the hell he did. He made me say some shit. I was like, oh, so I'm a Muslim now? He was like, yeah, yeah. So I started going to the little class and shit. Yeah, you the Malcolm X speech at the window. Yeah. But when I got, when I got, the, when I, when I got on the street, I was over there on Simpson with Lil' Bird and Meatball and, mm -hmm. you know, Lil' Kevin. Like, all of us was on Simpson. And goddamn, them niggas was just bashing me. I'm like, nigga, you goddamn, I ain't gonna eat no pepperoni, nigga. You know, when you get the food stuff car, go right up down to the Wayfield. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the shit that T.I. bought. Mm -hmm. The yeah. seafood, bankhead seafood? No, the shit, you know where he build the shit at? You used talking to be Kmart. You talking about, you talking about, uh-uh. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You talking about the what the what the uh what apartment said? Yeah. They had the laundromat right what there. It, what it called before that? It was, it was a grocery store. Yeah, it was a ghost store. Huh? What? Ja no. Super giant. Yeah. It was super giant. Well, that what the fuck it was. You get it was yellow. You get yeah, yellow words on. You With get the ATM five, out there. Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah. You get five packs. That food was stinking now too though. Don't go in there. <laughs> you gotta eat that shit immediately. But you gotta eat that shit. <laughs> you like y'all about it? <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker is five. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Yeah, them niggas, them niggas, we, you just get the five for nineteen ninety nine. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm talking about? No cap. The five uh, packs of meat. Yeah. But we used to get for these little... For nineteen ninety nine. In the trap, we used to get these little circle pizzas. Right. And they had pepperonis on them. Right. And you know, I'm I'm over the trap houses and shit, and they keep buying that shit, pork and shit, so we almost fell out about that shit. Right. So can't eat that shit. For a little while, I really didn't know what the hell I was studying and shit, but I liked it that you smell right. me. But later on, when I got to prison, later on in life, and I started seeing how them brothers was, right. and it just, that shit just blew me like, damn, these niggas love each other. These. Right. I just was a fan of their unity and brotherhood and all that type of shit. But after a while, you know, when I started getting bigger in the dope game and bigger in the streets and bigger in the rap game and shit, they started looking at me as one of the leaders. Right. So that gave me more responsibility. So that's when I went to picking up them damn books like, what the hell am I saying? Right. They're like, right, right, what, right, right. what the hell do Ark mean? What right. the hell is that? Hey, they getting you closer to God. Yeah, because I started, I had to teach other niggas. You smell me? Right. So that's where that went. Both Man.
And yeah, you did it because the motherfucker ain't do it for you. Like you said, buddy, in jail ain't want to put you and, and give you the breakdown. I be, I'm just one of them niggas that like, if I'm doing some shit, I want to know what the fuck I'm doing. I ain't one of the niggas that'll be like, you know, just blind following. Right. Like, I always want to know. I'm always investigating. Right. Man, we got to we gotta take this yeah. shit back. We gotta, we gotta take oh, we this, gotta shit. Start this shit off right there. We gotta start this shit off right there. Hey. And fell asleep to listen to the stories and shit. <laughs> you wanna be a Muslim nigga? <laughs> he over there like, you know what? I wanna be a Muslim. <laughs> I don't wanna pepperoni either. I don't wanna pepperoni. Nigga, all discombobulated. Hey, Didn't you just play <laughs> men in black or some shit? That was a bad Okay, what part of the yeah, song is this? Let me check that right quick, J.O. You see what you did? They gotta drop. Okay. Uh. Got him. Hey. You too. Hey. Trapping off the baby. Call me an old baby. You already know, boy. <laughs> I was born at Grady. <laughs> hey, had them chicken coop. Fuck oh. around that it. Ooh, yeah, I'm down with my bitch. Yeah, that's a ooh, all the life. Ooh, got out, young dude, got out. Hey, I'm finna go pick up Gucci Mike. Yeah, he sold me the same thing. Yeah, hey. Hey. When y'all do that, I know the face. He done with the ad there. Hey, got out. You made that beat? Yeah, that's a real beat. They hit. That's real. That's real. Yeah. That's what he do? I told you. Play another one. Play another one. Play another one. He think this shit a game. Drop it. He think this shit a game, man. Oh, okay. That's a game. You think this shit a game. <laughs> he don't uh -oh. just got one. Everybody went Drake on you. Uh. So many miles away. Look. How many tiles away. Oh. Uh. Look. It's before the beat. Yeah. I don't really know them niggas. Uh, I got to show them niggas. Woo. Uh, don't come to Canada. Fuck around, got the stamina. Oh, yeah, got the animal. Ooh, eat your girl like a cannibal. Ooh, yeah. And uh, my push like. I said, I said, I said. <laughs> you a sister of shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yo, do. This do sound like what you call it, though. Yo, do. Yo, do. Let me get, let me talk to him, Drake. Talk to him, then. Hey. Listen, I got a quarter and a baby. Hey. Fuck around, ooh, I got that white slim shady. Hey. Ooh, ooh, young dude, got that, let go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a problem, bro. Every time I hit the instrument, I always try to figure out who owns it. I try to put somebody's voice on it. I got like a little weird little, I'm like, you know what, who will sound good on that motherfucker? Shout <laughs> Play him another. You gotta put one Rallo on him. Come on, man. Rallo, Rallo ain't heard you, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> you gotta catch him up, bro. Okay. You been on your girl shit, too. This nigga here gonna get nigga fucked up, <laughs> man. You gotta buy your baby everything. I'm like, everything? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Everything. God, God. Nigga, everything. Everything. Fuck with that one. Every day. Shout out to me, yo. I fuck with that one. I like the one before that. You like the one before that? I hear Wiz Khalifa on this one. Oh, he got, he got hits. He got uh, hits over there. Yeah. <laughs> we rolling up. We smoking up. This nigga listen to everybody. Yeah. This nigga is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see what he did there? Oh, what that boy Rollo say? Oh shit, pop shit. Yo, I ain't scared of nobody. I'm from the block. I've been in the feds. I hit you your head. They call me Mr. Dog Food. Oh, that Rilo. That nigga named Dog Rilo. Sit down, Rilo. Sit down. 
Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Gotta go get your juice on the bed. Come on. Your juice. Come on. God, call me Mr. Feature. I'ma go and get my teacher. Call me at the bleacher. Yeah, I had me too. I had gone and see you. Put it down. I got the white girl. I had the Peter. Ooh, no OJ, but call me your two. God, I Go to go to the kind through. Nah, I was like, I'm down. That's it to go crazy. Put that in there. Oh yeah, he did. He did. Nigga, crazy. Shake my gun tell him. It's time to tell him. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. You always know what time it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no I just received paperwork in the mail that we are still voted the number one black TV show that ain't on TV. Fact. Come on. Come on. Still. They're streaming our, they're still. Streaming our shit on the, uh, when they be streaming them sports uh, games on. Nigga, we done made it to Pornhub. What? <laughs> we on Pornhub? Nigga, the live show was on Pornhub. Yeah, I did. You got to dig deep. It was on page 67. <laughs> They were, they were, I, I didn't go it to was in the background. Seven. It was in the background. I Somebody in the background. sent me a link. Oh, we on the background. Yeah, it was in the background. It was on the background. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's all you hear. I <laughs> see. <laughs> yeah, no, I hope not. Oh, we taking over the world. Somebody who worked at a Walmart, I didn't get the location. They put 85 South Show on all the TVs on Walmart. Oh, uh, yeah? Absolutely. Ooh, they I know they, I got them, I know they <laughs> got five. I think it was New Face sent me a clip. Niggas were watching this shit at the club. In my club, new back face. there, 85 South on all the screen. So, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We finna stop putting that shit in. Turn the channel in Walmart. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a challenge. Don't do that. Don't challenge. Don't you put that motherfucker on Walmart. You gonna get fired. I know we gonna say some shit. That no, we, that's that's work, we, that. we do. Suck a titty. That can be playing on Walmart. Suck a titty. Then Walmart show gangsta, they'll have the bras on sale. That's what I'm saying. They're going to sell the most bras on their episode. Motherfuckers play that titty song. So, so. Got titty acting building. As soon as you walk over there. Back to school. Back to it. DC, who we got in here with us? Come on, man. You know, you know, I got to take it back, gang. You feel me? It's a real West Side general. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, before this, before that. He know me by Ryan by. He been the man. This ain't no just, just happy, just so having it caught up on something. Nah, no, nigga, I'm 32. Nigga been doing this shit since I was 13 years old. You, tell me. you understand Come me? On. Nigga had more Come money on. than the niggas who I thought had money. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? He been doing this shit a real West Side General. You dig what I'm saying? Even though it don't matter what the fuck happened, the nigga came back and Come still on. was in the motherfucking mix. The nigga done had features with a little bit of future. You dig what I'm saying? The Come nigga on. had billboard motherfucking hits. Let go. You dig what I'm saying? He a motherfucking boss. Feeding a lot of motherfucking niggas, putting niggas on their feet, man. No other than the West Side General, Sam Goon Rollo. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Well, you know, first we gotta say, welcome home, welcome back to the show. Welcome, welcome back, back, bro. Come on, man. Welcome back to the country. Glad to have you, baby. Glad to have you, baby. You know what's happening, boy. Glad to have you, bro. But like DC oh, said, let's take it from the top. <clears throat> Tell us how it all got started. Real. Well, everything. Entertainment. Find the rock thing started with Young Scooter. You smell me? He came up. Another welcome home when I got out of the crib. <laughs> Coming home. <laughs> I got out of the crib. Yeah, we gonna keep these. <laughs> Nigga gonna come back home. Yeah, he gonna come back home. Nigga gonna come back home. You gotta keep coming back. <laughs> you don't want to be gone forever. A lot of niggas gone yeah, forever. Yeah. I think, you know, when Studer came to, we had the apartments called Rock Street. It's on the west side of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Off Josephine Lottery, used to be Ashby. They used to call it Ashby, but you know, all these, I learned that when I was in prison, all these street names that we've been repping was, um, you know, Confederate soldiers' names. So like oh. even Simpson Road, we've been repping Simpson, we've been repping Bankhead, we've been repping Ashby and all these different streets and all these was Confederate soldiers that, you know, enforced slavery upon us as blacks. I ain't learned that until I was in goddamn the, um, medical with my asthma and shit in prison just this time. 
And they was like, you know this bitch? And then the bitch illegally showed me, like, yeah, y'all ripping this shit. Cause you know, I got Simpson Road tatted on me and shit. She's like, you know that's a Confederate soldier. So anyway, yeah, we was on Rock Street, off Ashby, and Scooter came down there to come see me when I got out of prison. And he just had this BMG chain on. I'm like, what the fuck you got a chain for? You know, it was my dope boy days. We just had SRTs and, you know, Hellcats was finna come and the Jeep Cherokees, the SS trucks, yeah. all that type of shit was now. Like, it was true legend clothes. <laughs> it was never a Miri or Gucci. We was just in the hood and I just seen this motherfucking chain. I'm like, how the hell you get this chain? Because before I went in, you know, you know, he was buying a couple things for me, you know what I'm saying? And he got a chain, so I was curious. I was like, what the fuck? And he said, you gonna go to my show? I'm like, you got a show? What the hell you talking about? You got a show? <laughs> He like, yeah, I got a show at um, such and such club, whatever the fuck. It was out of town, I know that much. It went in the city. When I went to the show with him, that motherfucker went crazy. I can make cocaine. I'm like, oh, I can make cocaine too, then. <laughs> 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 he told me the motherfucker gave him $10,000 for this show. I said, they gave you wet 10, you know how much shit I used to have to do for $10,000 in the blow? We might have to sell an ounce of. You go buy your third one, they were doing third one for yeah, $5.50 yeah. back in the day. You gotta go buy your ounce, you might make five, seven hundred dollars profit. You gotta go do that again, beat the block up, give away wake ups, run away from the red dogs, the black truck, the poor tires pulling up on. I'm like, you just got 10000 for going on that stage rapping. I got back to the hood, I said, look, y'all, Lil DI, so Lil Char, nigga, Lil Screw, I said, nigga, we gotta get us a studio. <laughs> this nigga just got $10,000 for a show. I gotta go do that. I don't know how we gonna do it. But I gotta go do it. So I said, like, Scooter, how the hell I start rapping? Like, what I gotta do? He's like, you gotta get a chain. I'm like, I gotta get a chain? He said that first. He said that first. He said that first. He said that back then. He said, you gotta get a chain. Like, I need a chain, nigga. I'm right low. Everybody know who I am, nigga. I'm, I'm him. Like, nah, nigga. Look, hey, Rob, I know you. We just know you. I'm like, okay. Who else can get a chain, bro? <laughs> he said, he sent me Eliante name. It had yeah. ice next to it. So I called Eli. I said, nigga. I'm still little brother. I need to tell you. <laughs> Give me the dick out. <laughs> it went up this guy. It was a dick out. He smoked my ass. <laughs> smoked my boots. So he ended up, I think my first hand I had bought at that time was 38000 Yeah. Without right. the Cuban. So I ended up getting the Cuban that was like 15000 at that time. <laughs> so I spent like a 50 piece on my first chain. And then... When I got the chain, I was like, man, it's other shit these niggas got on. I'm like, man, that nigga got on a watch. I said, man, I need a watch too. Thanks. So I got a watch. It was a little, little roller that cost 30000 at that time. Then I went to Mayweather fight with, with Pacquiao and shit. And I was in there with Nicki Minaj. Then when Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill was fucking around and Fuse was down there and the nigga, um, the nigga, Augustin Asnino. Yeah, Augustin Asnino. <laughs> he had got into a big fight with Chris Brown, and all, everybody was just sitting up with us, and Nips the Hustle that long little Nips the Hustle. All of us were packed in this damn studio because we were finna get ready to go to the Pacquiao and the Mayweather fight, and then we took a picture. Everybody put their wrists in, and everybody had these big-ass watches. I had a little watch. I'm like, man, why the hell my watch don't look like me, man? <laughs> everybody else watching this motherfucker. I'm like, and then this nigga Elliot, his arm was in there too. He had a big white The damn jewel. So I, I, when we get back to the studio, I see Nielsen Hustle over there. You know, him and Future over there doing a little song and shit. They doing all that. You know how the niggas be in the studio. I'm mad. I'm like, nigga, why my watch thing look like everybody else watch? Right. He say, because you got to get a presidential. I say, well, I'm gonna take this with me. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, he's he laughing at me and shit. He, he, he saw, I had spit me up. I had give him like 60 more thousand, he ended up giving me a present. I had given me a present, so. Did you spend a hundred on the Rolex? Shit, he made me shit. He wouldn't give me like a discount. The fuck? Yeah, damn. That was a couple of years. Nah. Man. Man. I was trying to be a rapper. Whatever it took to be a rapper, I went to pan yeah. niggas and speeches. I have one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I got an Apple Watch now. I know you smart. <laughs> you smart. They been telling me my heart rate. <laughs> <laughs> Rolly can't do that. <laughs> How many steps? How many steps? I'm cool, you hear me? They know I don't have a paper. I'm no. good on that. See, I'm just for the same. I had a point to prove. No, I'm just for the same. You have been a rapper. Yeah. 
I knew you for having bread. You ain't give right. a fuck about it. None of that yeah, shit. Yeah, so school came fucked up, boy, man. You're gonna fly the bank road quick. Yeah, I had to go get that other bank road. Right. <laughs> yeah. That nigga told me that. I said, boy, I gotta go do that. Yeah. And that crazy, that bad. Hey, this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. When life gets overwhelming with your schedule jam packed with kids' activities, demanding work, projects, and countless other responsibilities, it's all too easy to let your priorities fall by the wayside. Even when you know what brings you joy and fulfillment, finding the time to focus on the things can feel impossible. But during these hectic moments, when it seems like there's no time left for yourself, making space for essential self-care practices like therapy becomes more crucial than ever. Therapy isn't just another task on your to-do list. It's a non-negotiable commitment to your well-being that helps you navigate the chaos, maintain your mental health, and ultimately reclaim your happiness. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash 85South today to get 10% off your first uh, first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash 85South. And then that that's the protocol of what a, a rapper was. So that's what I've been missing, the chain. I never had one. <laughs> <laughs> that's why niggas ain't take me serious. Like, you rap? Nigga went straight to the chain. You don't rap. That's what said, Nate. I'm like, what? You got a nigga. You yeah, got your chest. <laughs> I thought a nigga checking my heartbeat. Nah. Yeah, 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 nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> That's a necklace. You got to get you a know, chain. You know, back then, you know, you know, you had the but um, you had the but the barbershop who were doing the detour. You had swank them. You know they were doing shit, but they were giving me a thousand dollars to go to the detour at the club. Oh, they be shit. lit though. That was a time, boy. That, that was, was it. That was a time. That one you could shoot a nigga and get away with. Why? It. <laughs> you could shoot niggas back then and get away with. Y'all had a. I ain't gonna lie. Let's take it back to the goddamn the DKC or YKC day. Like y'all had the city fuck. Well, the clicks. Mm-hmm. When niggas had that click. <laughs> when y'all used to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. What that shit? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. see all the niggas talking about yeet, yeet, run. <laughs> they finna get out the car and whoop ass. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> we, had, we had this thing in our head, like, we had to be like the biggest and baddest. We were to die about that shit. And they were to die about that shit. LKC was a motherfucker. LKC, man. Women, man. women beating up niggas. That was true. That was the women. Listen, man. They Look had yeah, Doug on. They had what? Doug on. Man. My dog, man. I, I saw her as the rob somebody. <laughs> I'm in school. I'm like, LKC is some serious. Shout it really going on in Shout pocket. Took her motor card and Shout it. <laughs> she was like, hey, give me one. I'm getting yours. I said, hell nah. Shout was stuck at school. That's that DKC, YKC. That's, fun, That's what man. we started, y'all. That was in the beginning of time. That was like seventh grade, eighth grade, going into ninth grade. Oh, y'all with the turtle too, did it? Nah, most of us, I went to CEP. I, mean, I love CEP, Kennedy. CEP, Turtle, Kennedy. That was y'all area. Kennedy, yeah. Turtle, CEP, yeah. Watch. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And Doug. And Doug. Yeah. You and know, MDC, MDC had a little thing at Doug oh, at that time. Oh, definitely. Mo definitely. You remember MD? Mo definitely. Yeah. Yes, sir. I started off MDC in middle school, but they told me <laughs> since I went from born home, I could be MDC. So I said, I'm gonna make my own shit. And y'all ain't put that bad. I made DKC, YKC, LKC with Candy and DYC. Yeah, with motherfucking I didn't feel accepted. They ain't know how much value you brought to the group. They think about it, but shit. I still run DC for them, though. You know, I always gonna hold it down. Too many niggas dead, you know. West Side. All this CJ, free, free goddamn all the bros. It like definitely West Side thing. Even just to see you, bro. Like people don't understand, bro. Outside of town, bro, it's really hard. Not saying that it's hard. It's just so much we got to go through in order for us to just. The fucked up part about it that we just don't be sticking together. Facts. We don't. East Side yeah. stick together, bro. It's we so together, individualism, bro. bro. That's my- West side, so side niggas don't even want to like each other piss. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 like, they don't be, we don't go. Man, bro, we go to the club just to see if a nigga gonna pop his shit. We want to see. Is he, yeah, he still get money, let me. You like, ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know Like, you just want to see if I feel successful? 
But the thing about Atlanta that's so strange. Niggas looking for you to fall off. Niggas they stay on the east side, stay on the east side. Niggas on the west side, stay on the west side. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The, the east side been sticking together. The east side been sticking together. I been watching out with the club Libra. I just knew I was out of my hell a bit. Oh, my Lord. But you know, Libra about halfway, though. No, it was just, I'm a crucial. That is. <laughs> yeah, you were too far. That crucial it. The crucial right. home, home. Crucial. We ain't gonna go to the Fox. I'm taking y'all. That's too old school. My bad. Thank you. What it called now? The Fox. Bro, he, uh, don't, he don't understand. You, how, you, you was after the bounce. So you was going to the bounce. Oh, the bounce, I always Ooh. wanted to go yeah. in. Yeah. Okay, you was, I too, was young. too young. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Way That's too young. Ooh, baby. The bounce. <laughs> <bounce. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who would have never led to the mouth? What? <laughs> the mouth was right there. Right there. That right right there. Right. You just yeah. ride there. 95. What's going on with that, daddy? Turn into a cruise. That was a little cool. mean in the hot. I mean, you know, the top ball. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. First open that bitch over there pretty much. But what's the club yeah. next to Crucia that everybody go to? Well, the I know the pink head, but the pool palace. The pool palace, yeah. Right, right, Pool right, right. palace. You don't remember the pool palace? No, it was called the Fox before the pool palace. That was before the pool palace? Yeah, it was called oh, the Fox. Okay, okay. You have a little Fox up there. <laughs> it was an after house spot. It was called Fox. Oh, what they be doing? They got like a studio or some shit in that now. Mo Dabbly. Hold up. Darling, what? go to school. I mean, go to sleep. I'm at work. I love you. <laughs> he told it, dog. Go to school. We all sides of this motherfucker. Right. East side, uh -huh. west side. Oh, Good night. Shit. We ain't know the after we was over there. Every club you just <laughs> named, we had a show in that yeah. bitch. Where you from? Right, man, where I'm from Florida, Florida originally, but my family grew up out there. I'm cop. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Cop? Yeah. That's my mom said. Cop, 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 Pepperbrook is the only school we'll sell. Hey, that's only because right there. Can nigga get kicked out of right FBS and go to Pepperbrook? Pepperbrook was the, uh, what you call it? That was the performing arts school, nigga. Pepperbrook was cool. That's what I went to jail. That's all I seen in prison. Carl County, nigga. For real? You was out there? Man. I just was in prison and everybody just say, where you from, Carl? Where you from, Carl? Oh, they, from, yeah, they're not playing. They're getting fucked up. They, 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 they proud of that shit, too. Oh, you talking about old Carl County? They, 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 they love the goddamn. Well, you remember them late night drives back up out there, bitch? You have to brace yourself. Once you get past Cumberland Mall, it's on. Listen, I don't like nobody say they in Smyrna Vinings, none of that. I'd be like, listen, as a kid, we were just taught. Don't go over there. <laughs> Nigga, the most treacherous it drive. Ain't, I don't even care. The man. most treacherous drive trying to come back from Vegas nights, nigga. Nigga. Fucked up. That's One cool. night I got through that bitch because they ran out of tow trucks, nigga. They had a goddamn shit. They was checking IDs and IDs, and then them niggas left. What's oh, Vegas man. nights? Oh, that was the club out there. That's the club out there. Yeah, I thought that you were talking about Vegas. That shit across the street from the Walmart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nigga. Some legendary nights in that movie. The hot strip they got is Sith Flag. Yeah, nigga, the, that used to be the... <laughs> Sith Flag. Sith Flag. Sith Flag. Oh, fuck, fuck me, Sith Flag. Bunk. Nigga, I ain't rolled on Sith Flag. I said, yeah, they shit all this shit down. All this shit got to go. Now nah, we yeah. talking about the other side, Marietta. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so y'all went deep. Yeah, we we stayed by the first wave. Yeah, that's New from the west side. No, nah, we was actually in the middle of the You see them folks that quit you? You're like, hey, man, get back on the square wave. Bro, you don't know about that red train? Come back. Hell oh, red I train. Hell, the red train. Red train. The whole dance and everything. What's the, uh, what's what's the Mexican one? It was uh, a Mexican one up the street. Oh, yeah, Carl County nigga, too. Oh, oh, yeah. He came out here and moved down there, too. Yeah, he moved down there. <laughs> this nigga moved no, all the fucking day like it. It's okay. They talking about Vegas. Hey. Hey. No, no, this nigga okay. moved okay. all the way to Kennesaw, okay. nigga. Yeah. Nigga, that was all the way yeah. out there. Furthest drive ever. <laughs> when y'all had that car bus coming to H.E. home, them niggas get beat up. Nigga, we ain't, we ain't. Any nigga ride that bus, but he'll get your ass. Hey, any nigga get out that bus, get his ass whoop. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Fuck y'all doing, come over here. You gotta keep your ass. CCP. I was rolling the whole time I was here. That motherfucker had good AC though. Yes, he did. That was the whole motherfucker had good AC though. Yeah, we didn't say nothing. I was grown the whole time I lived there. Call the people and send you. I don't know. You know when we used to fundraise, we go to Carl County, ain't never give us no money. Because y'all was <laughs> taking their money. But Y'all want to fundraise? The West Side was giving us money. I tried to do that paper shit. I was like, excuse me, I got a football team. Nick said, man, fuck your team. <laughs> <laughs> I got in the car. I said, come on, man. These niggas ain't giving out no money. <laughs> Carl County ain't gonna get shit. Man, little nigga no. came up to me with that us. paper, but he had tattoos all up his arm. I was like, little nigga, how old is you? I'm 14. No, the fuck you ain't need growing up. Little nigga still doing that shit. I'm bro. not giving you shit. I was, it's a nigga out there where I stay at, right? He, he was like, OG, I said, look, check this out. Top Paul. First of all, you ain't got no team. 
You don't play for nobody. <laughs> but what I'm willing to do is make sure you don't go out here and steal from nobody. Make sure you help these old folk with their grocery. And yeah. go to Harlem, shout Put that goddamn little envelope up. <laughs> <Hey, shit. laughs> then you got to see through it. It's wrinkly. You've been rolling that bitch up. It's a hard thing, my buddy. Hey, like, they, nobody giving you nothing. They always trying to go to Florida. <laughs> We're trying to get my team to Florida. What the fuck? We somebody here. <laughs> <laughs> so you Nigga, are you good here? You need to get on the CTT. I you know, that shit's free. No. <laughs> Uh, you said that. Uh, yeah, you got, you got yeah. to. That's the only way. Uh, that I was tried. the first name to say. We're trying to go to Florida for the uh, <laughs> Real Rock Championship. <laughs> and we need some money. Scamming like a mother. <laughs> but that but shit was cool, the though. The detour day was so lit, man. Y'all nigga had that shit. Oh, smash. That's why when I be looking at Swank, I be like, Swank, you supposed to be the biggest promoter in the world, Biggie. man. Biggie, he had everybody, bro. When, yeah, it came everybody. To, when it came to children... Like, you can tell now that the kids don't got no type of nightlife. That we had a nightlife before that, we had adult nightlife, nigga. Nigga, we had us a whole look from 17 on 9. And it was still, nigga, like 23, 24, still getting their name performing in front of the young kids. Like, that one, Jay Money on used to come. They yeah. had to. Jay yeah. Money, they L- had to. L.A. did all on. Um, Meanie was coming in there, bitch. This is how we play. Yeah, this you think I'm ready, bitch. This is how we play. Boom. Boom. You see, huh. man, you like, I'm finna swing on that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was all, all the war started. That was the war started at with me and Thug, no. The one with me and Wooda, no. The one with me and hey, Lil Nuke, no. All the war started at Detour. The one thing about it, you don't need no Detours in that bitch. It's like a perf- The one thing, the West Side got so many dunked off performing art stages that you don't even know that's <laughs> over there. Like, you be like, look at this building, this is a warehouse. You be like, nigga, there's three stages in that bitch. Like, performing stage. Nigga, that shit was in, a, in the back of a flea market. Nigga, that's what I'm saying. You won't even know if you ride over there on the West End. You got to go inside and then one skinny ass hallway, my nigga. And when you get through that hallway, it's a big ass open space club. Nice. Ain't number. It about it's five it's a hundred, 17 year olds in there. Fuck. Oh, so it's a teen club for the month. Nigga, it's 500 niggas in I here talking about fuck life. I just thought of the Mexicans life. by you. At an early age. What? Cafe <laughs> Lavaca. Yeah, Lavaca. <laughs> Yo. We all in here talking. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Right. Yeah, we gonna do all something. All we can do today is fight and shoot each other, bro. <laughs> bro it was, I it was never the back. You had to be fun. there so you could go to school Monday. Like, hey, but you went detour. Hey, you know I was in detour, but that bitch was lit. If you wasn't in detour, you was, was at home. With outfit. You was at home. <laughs> oh, you was a baby. Detour was off the chain. <laughs> That was fun. I remember one day my man was sitting in the middle of the street. He ain't had no clip, no bullet in the gun, but he wanted to shoot with us. He just playing like he's shooting the gun. That's <laughs> <laughs> the police shooting at us, man. Then he got hit. Then he like, I'm like, I, I know that's the gun that I ain't got no clip. I'm standing shit. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you want to stand that nigga like a hog? Like, fuck that shit. Damn. Fun. That shit was fun, boy. We had fun. Yeah, that nigga making his own sound effect. I said, I, why you doing that? He's like, shit, I had to play like this. I'm ready. Shut up. <laughs> you know the pepper book, don't you? I know it. Nah, he went to cool with us. I ain't just said it oh, night. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> but we had the time, uh, bro. What that? Hey. Give me one. Oh, here you go. Water right here. Nah, man, I love, I love the, the infrastructure that you, that you be, you know what I'm saying, instilling, bro. Cause it's, it's, it's rare that you see niggas play their position. You feel what I'm saying? Like niggas don't know how to be a boss in their position. You feel me? You, it's not taking orders. It's called structure, my nigga. Right. It's called structure, my nigga. It's called ordinance, my nigga. And if you learn it, you can get you thirty. Young niggas <laughs> and formalize and get some structure. Right. You dig no, what I'm saying? Don't, you, you're not known for being a stingy nigga. You're known for giving away shit and right. just being generous, man. Where did, you, care where did you get? Yeah, taking care of the hood <laughs> shit. Where did you? I think, you know, that shit, that shit all started when, you know, I got my grandma income tax shit one day. <laughs> So I was working at Kroger in front of little shit when I started. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right where you left oh, off. Okay. You don't like yeah. that nigga, man. Nah, it's just that shit changed. It was a life. But you already that, that that situation yeah. I already done. Yeah. Okay, I got so we like, to that. Right. I ain't know what gives the world. What happened? What happened with that story, man? And then Who's that? The um income tax shit. <laughs> <laughs> so back then, 
And it's all for the rookie people. Back then, we went to Allen Temple. Allen Temple had the perk back then. Right. So I bought me an ounce of perk for $250. So Ooh, you can sell good the deal. ground. That was, I was that. Good, that was a good deal. deal. Perk back, but that was one guy down. You know, everybody <laughs> wanted to sell some perk. Right. So I was trying to leave the crack <laughs> alone. He and got my perk to the perk. Right. So I bought me an ounce of perk, and then I went up there to the white store. That's where right. YC used to be at, the girl Pinky them. Yep. So I supposed to meet Big Man up there to serve him a gram of perk. Right. So I'm sitting up that motherfucker. So I started sitting on the little church that we be going to church at. So I sit at the church, but the store right across the street. So all the little niggas over there looking at me like, oh, cause they see, they know I got straight drop. I stay, I sell a lot of crack down here on Sunset. Right. But I ain't got damn up here to sell no dope. Right, right. This y'all shit. I'm, I'm just coming up here to serve, serve some perp and go on by my business, cause Big Man told me to meet him up there. Right. So we up there. These niggas like, yeah, these niggas selling dope on my block. I ain't saying that to these niggas. I'm steady college, man, man. You know, you you on the way. You know they dope boy time. I'm gonna be there in five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. So he get up there. One of the nigga had squirrel me. Boom. He 26. I'm like 14 years old. Nigga named Antonio. He squirrel me. Boom. So I end up getting the best of the nigga. I don't know how. God just gave me the grip. I end up beating the nigga. I'm shocked I beat the nigga up. But I might have <laughs> turned too. I might have turned around. I was at another nigga naval. Like, this nigga look like God. <laughs> 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 yeah. This nigga was tall as a motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck you want? I'm, I know I can't win this one. I'm like, hell no. Nah. So nigga, like, I'm gonna take your bomb, nigga. He know I got plenty of dope. Right. So I'm like, you gonna take my bomb? My uncle, I had been, everybody just had got locked up that year. That went, me and all them had first went down. So I said, okay, cool. So Pinky them tell her, but he finna come back. Y'all don't know that little boy bad as hell. <laughs> so I went down now. I got my nine and I got my goddamn revolver. I went up there to Giant P. And when nobody at the store, they somebody had told him I was coming back. He, I went on English Avenue. I seen him. Him and a J. He had a J right there in front of him. He like, yeah, nigga, what you gonna do? I like, now I'm gonna shoot him at you. So I shot. Oh, I shot the J. He took off running. He like, oh, I don't know. You know, I was blind the hell out of my life. I ended up hitting the nigga, boom. And the nigga got down, fell on the ground, and he was hollering. He was like, ah. I was like, damn, nigga, who did all that? Cause right. this nigga was just a big nigga behind me. Right, right. And then he crying out, like, ooh, when I got that, I said, oh, everybody finna get shot. <laughs> <laughs> everybody finna die today. Boy, this motherfucker gun here ain't no joke. This thing did that. I said, I got superpowers. I got that. A nigga better say nothing else to me. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. Why that nigga done it for? He said, what did he do? And that nigga was just dead. That nigga was dead, man. That nigga was big. You know, when I was little Terrell, I was a little bit of a nigga. I was little Terrell. No cap. I was little Terrell before Rallo. No cap. That nigga had, but I, you know, everybody was getting shot all the time in the bluff, and nobody was never going to jail. So, you know, I went back to this goddamn serving. They were talking about they wanted to shoot me and shit. I was like, they trying to shoot me? But I went on that every day. Add that motherfucker out. Boom, 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 shooting every day. And so goddamn, they gave up. When they gave up, they like, tell that little nigga stop. So now it's like everybody's trying to set me up. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to kill my stupid ass. But anyway, I went, I had ended up getting locked up by the hot box. You know, right. we were doing hot boxes and right. shit back then. Right. And they said, you shot somebody too? I was like, no, sir, I was sick. So they put me in the interrogation room. I'm like, I did it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing about that. No. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry people messing with me. I'm sorry. No. Started. You 14. You young. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucked up, though, because yeah, he ain't had no been talking to me without my mama. Oh, OK, yeah. So yeah. Now, they put the one out on me, but they couldn't use me saying I did it. So I'm in the, I'm in the court how he hop his ass in there on the um, wheelchair. <laughs> Rolling through that, I'm looking at his ass. He rocked. I'm like, man, I'm a punch this stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> he rolled back. Yeah, he rolled by me in the courtroom. Like, we in the juvenile court. He rolled by me. I'm like, man, you know, I don't even believe we supposed to go to court when people shoot us, because people get shot every time. Right, right, right. Man. This shit normal. Man, that nigga had went in that motherfucker. He, he did it. He did it. My guy was right there with me. All that about was right there. And that nigga still in the bluff, and he be still like, Chilling like night, like he ain't never did that. Damn. But that's what made me get the job at Kroger. Right. And then I had to get a, a, a worker permit from CEP so I can work. Right. So I had a worker permit, so they found exempt that I ain't have to pay taxes. 
Right. So one day when you we go in Kroger, you gotta go through the customer service and get your check. Right. You know, they were checks, they were before cards and shit. And got down, they were getting their W-2s. And I was looking at people W-2s and shit. And then I seen my grandma W-2, she used to give me five hundred dollars every year. So I seen, I seen another lady, she was getting like thirty eight hundred. I'm like, grandma, how much you get? She was like, I get 1700 every year, baby. She was working at the Georgia Dome. Uh-huh. This before, this before the Mercedes Benz State. Uh-huh. And got down. I was like, grandma, let me see your W-2. I took it to a nigga on North Fault named Money. And I got the W-2 and I boosted it up. So we got like seven to 800 We got like seven to 800 And we got <laughs> long little money. Long little money, money dead. We got like seven to 800 I said, grandma, how much you going to give me? She was like, baby. Just give me three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the three thousand. I kept the seven. Yeah. I mean the rest. And she kept the state check because you get federal and state. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I'm goddamn fifteen years old with me with all the oh, goddamn hey, money go. in my pocket. Yeah. So once I did that, now I use one of my partner ID. He was working at Kroger too. Got my own little apartment, and you know we in ninth grade. <laughs> We're in ninth grade. So we've been doing this shit. Now. You're going crazy. This, so I say, me, you ain't y'all want to come spend the night? Everybody in the it, it got down dog coming over there spending the night. You know, we we kids. We got us a hot box outside. We think we grown. We got us some money, <laughs> but we got us an apartment. <laughs> so now that that created like all the little kids coming to my house, even when they was fucking these little girls, we were fucking little girls and shit. Come on, my house and shit. And I think that what created like. Team player and shit like, cause this none is my family. This is my brother, then my sister. We, you know, I now I got me a child. I'm 15 years old with a right. with a newborn baby, right. and all of us trapping. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it just led from okay. Now I gotta ple- please the plug later on. I end up having to please the plug and get more trap houses so mm-hmm. I can get out more work. And now I need more men mm-hmm. power. So we just became this look drug drug dealing ass niggas and. It shit just led to one thing, and you know, jail came with it, babies came with it, shootings came with it, all kinds of shit came with it, which created going to the bond account. And again, the lawyers, again, we hungry, we eat, we buy food stamps for business, we getting kicked out, homeless, we living in the L3s, we miss it. Right. You know, it just created that family orientation. And it, it, I just never. Even when I started rapping or anything, I started when I got into the legitimate side of life and shit. I just use that same mentality towards it. You know? Just like you just say, this the trap. This the right. trap. Yeah. Like now, my Pakistan the trap, but right. I ain't selling dope, of course. Right. I'm selling clothes, I'm selling features, I'm selling studio time, I'm right. selling this and that. And every day I'm making some paper, you know what I mean? Well, there's a promo, nigga on the telegram, yeah, send me the money, cash out. Mm. Yeah. So that's right. where we at with it, you know what I'm saying? That, that, so it came from that and it led through all the many years until now. Right. And we still doing it. I think I, I got down done. I don't think I can live without doing that now. Because mm. mm. you know, you gotta think about it. It was Christmas and shit where we had to go get us a true lid and outfit from the outlet. And you know, Polo and Marshalls back then and Ross and shit. So right. like, it just, when you look at money, whether it's a million or 10 million, it still have the same vices, whether, okay, we went Polo then. When we had a thousand dollars, then when we got ten thousand, we started wearing true lids, then we started getting a hundred thousand, then we wearing Gucci. But it's still kind of the same thing. Right. Right. Instead of us having a three bedroom, we got us a five right. bedroom, but it's still all the same thing, like from a Charger to a Maybach. But right. it's still, you got a car, I got a car, I just got a goddamn Maybach. You right. know what I mean? Right. So it just went from a small level to now we living in mansions and shit now. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, how do you, Manage and keep a level head, and you know, like you, you, the, you the boss, right? And you're trying to create bosses. You know what I'm saying? Some people gonna leave, some people gonna grow, some people gonna do their thing. Like you say, now you, you feel like you can't live without it because you done formulated a structure. Right. How do you keep a level head when people feel like they supposed to be you? I mean, <clears throat> with 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 doing the right thing. All the wrong gonna get the fuck away. Like you can't miss all the water. You smell me? So like, if they intentions is that we gonna always depart. You smell me? Like, cause if you trying to, it's just like with a car. If you driving down the street and you get another nigga line, you liable to crash. So 
the quarterback got to be a quarterback. The right receiver got to be a right receiver. The center got to be a center. But when you see a nigga running from, the center running from the ball, for the ball, you be like, oh, this nigga want to be a right receiver. Everybody need to look at him. He a problem. He the reason we going to lose. You right. smell me? So when you, 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 because I ain't the only person in this. You know, we got real niggas around that's analyzing and seeing the characteristics of people around you, whether it's a girl, whether it's a nigga. You gonna see something I don't see right here. You smell I me? Mean? And I'm gonna see something you don't see. So all of us as a whole, it's never just Rollo because I seek advice and counsel from others. You smell I me? Mean? And um, we all point that type of sucker shit out. And when we see it, you know, it always be a setup to get your pussy ass away from here. Like, right. gone. Right. You smell I me? Mean? Right. Like, we gotta eliminate all the bullshit in order to get to the good shit, you smell me? Because if you got a nigga around you stealing, you ain't gonna survive. You ain't gonna ever win like that, because how you gonna win, you smell me? And you know, I went through that shit so many times and going through prisons and boot camps and juvenile and shit. You be around so many different type of niggas with so many different characteristics and so many different mentalities. So now, I have learned how to deal with every kind of nigga, you smell me? So, when the nigga come around me, like, you got to think about it, I sold crack. I sold five dollars sacks of crack. So when the nigga come up with me with this fake ass game, like, nigga, you think I ain't on nobody game, nigga? I, my auntie tried to sell me some pussy for crack. Like, yeah. I done heard the worst of worst of lies when I was in the bluff selling crack on the block. They wanted to wake up. You right. think they ain't come with all the bullshit that you could possibly think of? Right. Yeah. So when I see that shit, I be like, man, that nigga from that weak ass game with me, man. <laughs> like, man, nigga, I'm from the bluff where I had to be in this shit all my life. So it's just about identifying it. And once you analyze it, you just, it's it's about how you react to it. If mm. I react to it, like, like when I be around <laughs> niggas, I try to run away from that because I ain't worried about what you going to do. I know I slap the shit out of your stupid ass. Right. I might step on your dumb ass in here. So I'm... I know I do this, so let me get the fuck away from you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might not even go to a certain yeah. club. Like, if I see some niggas in the club, I I, I get up out of there because I know I'm D. Torralo. I at this motherfucker. Out. Like, right. we ain't gonna let's not do this because I don't want to go to jail. So let me run from you. You smell me? So now when I see that sucker shit, because I don't been through it where I have done shit when that type of shit occurred. So them type of things ain't get me no other prison. It's right. So now I be like, man, let me get the fuck away from that clown ass shit, man. This nigga, he'll trip it. He'll think right. I'll see him. Even in jail and shit. We gonna put your dumb ass on the door. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Muslim, we stick together real heavy. So, like, wherever I go, we we kind of running numbers up and running the yard. And whenever I see some bullshit, negativity, uh, his ass gotta go. We agree? Don't go. If you don't go, you know where you're going. <laughs> you know where you're going. So it be on some shit like that, like... Out uh, here, you know, you ain't really got to tell a nigga twice because, you know, you got fire here. And uh, sometimes you got to show a nigga. Right. Nigga ain't got nothing to live for. Some of these niggas got life sentence to kill. No. <laughs> they ready to die anyway. So dealing with these niggas out here, these niggas don't want to die and these niggas don't want to go to jail. These niggas don't want to take it down. So most of the time, these niggas will get the fuck on when they be on that type of time. They're good. They're good. Man, that's a, that's a hell of a way to think, man. If more motherfuckers thought like that, there'd probably be less shit going on, for real. Like you said, and I don't even think you said you run from the situation, but it ain't even running. It's just acknowledging what that shit gonna lead to and being able to discernment. That's the biggest lesson most motherfuckers gotta learn. Cause nigga be thinking you got to sit here and prove yourself like, yeah, I stayed. That nigga ain't did nothing. What? That gonna boost your ego? But what if he did? Now, now like he said, now you, you gonna put yourself to do in a position so you like, nah, man, I was just saying that shit to my, my partner the other day. I was like, we have grown to realize we don't have nothing to prove. You the new unk now. <laughs> we the new unk. I want the young nigga to call me unk. Right. I deserve it. Right. I earned that. We right. didn't we didn't been through a lot, but yes, I'm uncle. <laughs> call me uncle. <laughs> uncle Rollo. Uncle Fly Fly. That's my name. You get what I'm saying? Uncle Fly Fly. <laughs> uncle Fly Fly, nigga. Right. Cause it's like. No, I'm telling niggas how to avoid situations when you know who you are. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because if you know who you are, why would you put yourself in a position and now you're going to react how you would normally react? <laughs> right. And you're going to be mad at the other nigga when you already knew that. 
You don't have nothing to prove. I don't care about proving nothing. I just want to take care of my family. Right. Be righteous. Right. You see what I'm saying? Stay obedient to God. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, you always put to play defense, though. You know, you got the right to defend yourself of in this course. country. So, like, if it get to that point, yeah, go on. Come on over here. You won't make it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, are we going to either go our separate ways now before we get to that? Because I see you still got that infrastructure formulated. I know folks going to be going crazy in the comments because they know I love infrastructure. That's my favorite word. <laughs> Absolutely. That's infrastructure. My favorite, infrastructure is my favorite word because I come from that. And it's like, the position can be so frustrating, bro. Well, you could just be like, man, fuck that shit, man. I done showed y'all nigga how to do this shit. God damn, what? Right. So I, I, I got to do this for the rest of my life? Right. I guess this is just what come with. I mean, I think that God gave, you know, he, he gave us, he chose us. You know what I mean? You can't avoid being chosen. It's right. me so like, when you read the Quran, it say, and we spend out of what we have given them. So like God gave it to me, so it's my obligation to give it to others. You know what I mean? And um, you know, if you don't do it, you know, you'll be held accountable for that. Cause I believe in the day of resurrection. I believe Jesus is gonna come back. I believe that you know when we die, we're gonna have to answer to this shit. And you know the things that we made our hands do, the things that we have done with our wealth, we will be you know. I believe that we'll be held accountable for that on the day of resurrection and we're going to have to speak to our Lord about that. You smell me? So if I don't do it, then, you know, I'm going to have to answer to him and I ain't even ready to do that. And, you know, none of us don't know when we're going to die. Right. You smell me? You, right. None of us in this motherfucker don't know. Right. So we got to make that shit right while we can. Right. So when, if, if I got it, I got to give it. You smell me? Because I want that to be pleasing to our Lord, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it, it's also a way to cleanse your soul. Mm -hmm. It's also a way to cleanse your sins. You smell me? So like, when you, when niggas go, because you know, you know, people in the comments, like, people everywhere going to say, oh, he looking, doing this for clout and shit like that. But however, nigga, you need to be getting the clout from your Lord. Of course right. I'm doing it yeah. for clout. I'm doing it for clout for my Lord, because but I don't need a lot of fucked up shit as DC have witnessed to and other people have witnessed to that I'm trying to got them get off my soul, you smell me? Right. Hey, man. <laughs> How you doing? I think we should pass the collection plate around. <laughs> That's a good time to dig in your pockets deeply for Fat Boom Rollo. From the Book of Rollo, man. From the Book of Rollo. Come on, man. Hey, yeah. man, infrastructure. <laughs> is the word. If it is, if it's too late to get, that, get your, your spirit right, man. No, it's yeah. good, man. It's good to see that. It like, can't be too late, though, if you die. Fucked up, man. You die a fucked up nigga. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of niggas yeah. out here dying fucked up people. Yeah. And then they be going online to my my son, he dead, and we want to dress him. Nigga, what's your son did? Like, you don't know what your son did? Like, you don't know what your son did? Your, your son shot up all these people shit, and now when a nigga smoke his stupid ass, we need justice, nigga. Bruh. Justice have been served. Yeah, bro, I was just like, realistic, go, real, realistic. So we gotta get our yeah. shit together. So we telling the people, like, man, go do what you gotta do to get that shit together. Cause you gotta think about, it. look how, look how the West Side divided. You see what I mean? Everybody trying to kick the next man down for so they can stand up and see who dick the biggest. You see what I mean? And, you know, I ain't on that. That ain't where my heart at, you know what I'm saying? And people got, you got to pray that shit off of you. Right. Because once you get that shit in you, man, that shit hard, that selfishness, that greed, all that shit, you got to really cleanse your soul from that. You got to really go pray to God because niggas start to be so almighty to themselves that they forget about the almighty. Talk your talk, man. Right. Talk your talk, man. That's real. So you got to, you got, we all got to get on that type of shit. And, you know, bring people together like we need each other, bro. Like, for a nigga to say that I need no nigga or no bitch, I need my girl. You see what I mean? I don't know how the fuck I would have made it through that bitch. Like, go, but I'm missing. The bros are screaming free Rollo, showing up, going over there, helping me with my kids, sway going up on a fuck nigga that was playing games. And, you know, rude. all my niggas that's here and there that was there, but I don't know how, why I probably would have been. That motherfucker stabbing me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me substance. I was able to see my kids on the weekend and shit like that. So I ain't wanna fuck up the visit. 
So sometimes when shit get wrong, I'm like, man, please don't make me stab your stupid ass, man. Please. I'm begging you not to, not to let me do this. So let's let's squash this, because I want to see my kid this weekend. She on drove, she on off. I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to be a war on this bitch. She on the road. Man, I'm coming to see you. Guns, miles, and shit. <laughs> 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 I'm like, OK, baby. Hey, y'all, look, y'all. <laughs> Hold up, bro. We can't resolve it. No, I don't need to Hey, man, I'm going to stab this <laughs> Baby, I'm in the hole. <laughs> baby, I'm outside. Damn. She, uh, yeah, they, I'm in the hole. <laughs> yeah. We're road nine, ten hours away. Yeah. That shit happened, hole. so you was... Plenty of time. Damn. I, got, I went to 11 different spots in five years and 10 months. 11 different yeah. spots. And every time I left, it was disciplinary. And then, you know, me and Rollo, this is what you got to do. You got to show a nigga every time. I was talking about, as soon as I walk in the dorm and a nigga say something crazy, I'm going dead in this shit. You gotta have to just show me. God just don't know how I was winning. You know, it been sometimes <laughs> I would go in the room and they're like, this nigga big as hell. I'm like, oh shit. And then was like, oh, oh I got his ass. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Come on, come on, nigga, I got you. Talk to him while you beat him. Right. Beat his ass. Once you do that, you do that again. You gotta do that again. You gotta do it again. Everywhere you go, you gotta do something. And then mentally, that's yeah. like, you know what? Man, fuck this shit. Oh, you can't never say that. No, I ain't saying that. I'm saying like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like. You you under, <laughs> but you under, you understand like I. That's what I'm saying. It's a different world in there versus out here. It's kind of like the infrastructure, but, but said, it's a different infrastructure in there. But he a good nigga. <laughs> he a good nigga, but soon it's like he said. Once he go in and he he rollo, bro. The moment a nigga even act like they even playing. You gotta I go. got to go yeah. in your shit. It yeah. ain't no, man, nigga, you're tripping, man. What you talking about? No, nigga, don't ask him nothing. Right. Get him in his shit. Go. Go. You gotta get go me on the line. You gotta go in, go. You gotta go. That shit dangerous, because you might not make it home. Right. It been plenty of time where I know I probably would never made it playing them type games. So that's why when I see these types of miserable ass niggas out here on the street be on that negative shit, if I see a nigga being too negative, I hear you ever say, boy, I'm not gonna talk to you. Oh, yeah, tripping, bro. You like them miserable ass niggas that's in prison for the rest of their life. You have no reason to be mad at the world. Right. You is free. Mm -hmm. I know niggas that ain't never get out. Niggas that was mob bosses that ain't, that, that'll tell on the world right now if they could to get out that motherfucker. Them niggas in that bitch is suffering. Them niggas is miserable. I know niggas with some bodies, $10 million cash, cleaning out the motherfucking water and trash can, man. So, when I see these niggas unhappy on the street, I have to, I have to remind the brothers like, nigga, do you know it's niggas in that bitch ain't never getting out? When niggas be fucked up and saying they need they car no anything, I have to tell them like, boy, I don't give a fuck, but you better walk down the street because this niggas ain't never, right. this, this niggas ain't coming home. Right. Ain't no bro. stress, ain't no sense of stress. We ain't selling no dope, man. We gonna work this shit out. We better wait till somebody call for some promos and shit like, but we, we finna, we got, but I'd rather be out this motherfucker broke. I'm not going back out. Yeah. Hell no, nah. so I have to, I, and, and then niggas be so negative. Like when you see that shit, you gotta really be like, you gotta check that shit. Like, hey, home. If you go, you you gonna remove yourself around me, or I'm gonna remove myself around you. If you in my shit, you gotta go. Right. And if I'm in your shit, which never happens, I'm gonna go. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm not involving myself yeah, in this you situation. Gotta, you gotta just let that shit go. Like even if you know, and then after that, they gonna talk bad about you. So you gotta really push their ass away, cause now they done been in your circle. Now they see any little thing. Oh man, them nigga had noodles on the floor over there. Go over there, you'll see they got noodles in the back back there. Make a nigga smoke his stupid ass from bitch. You, you be in pain like, damn, I shouldn't let this nigga, let this nigga come around me, you smell me? So like, you got to really have discipline. You got to really be humble. You got to really be willing to say fuck a lot of big shit and let a lot of shit slide because this shit ain't easy as that being in a village amongst the people and being the king. You smell me? It ain't. It ain't. Right. You nice. said a mouthful of then. Right. Set a mouthful of then. Cause everybody think it easy, cause we make it look easy. Cause you got the heart <laughs> to bring like, you got the heart to bring niggas with you, right? right. Not only just bring niggas with you. And the infrastructure. And the infrastructure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more so, it's more so fellowship. Niggas want to be around. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's right. a difference when, hey, nigga, yeah, man. Don't worry about the bread I'm getting. 
Look at how many niggas I got to feed. It's not really I got to feed. It's just this is how it goes. This is how it go. If you was in this position, what would you do? If, want, if you wouldn't, if you weren't doing it how I would do it, let's just trade position. Let's do a three season spin. Boom. Boom. These your poppers. They gonna like go, you say they is. Yeah. They gonna get the hell on. They gonna know. get them a big ass house out of town like the rest of these niggas. Hey niggas only around because they around you. It ain't that y'all fuck with each other. <laughs> y'all only fuck with me, so y'all niggas really ain't friends for real. Right. So it just really, if we really together or we only together because y'all fucking with me. That happened a lot. I don't see motherfuckers meet with me and turn against me. You smell me? <laughs> Plenty of yeah, times. Bro. Like, God damn. And it still had a heart to be like, you know what? I'm still gonna bring all the niggas that still loyal. We gonna ride I mean, it through. even even those people, I, I forgive them. You know what I mean? I don't, Cause I want my God to forgive me. You know what I mean? So I don't hold no resentment in my heart against Queen or niggas like John Doe, all them bitch ass shit they did and all that. I don't hold resentment in my heart against that. Cause my heart is with my Lord. You know what I mean? Talk to your talk. And if you got down, you gotta understand when we talk about heaven and whether it's the Torah, the Bible, or the Quran, any book that we talking about heaven and our Father, ain't no filth in that. Ain't no filth in in His kingdom. So if we wanna be in His kingdom, we gotta cleanse ourselves. We gotta be clean-hearted people. So if I hold that dirt in my motherfucking heart, then I'm not welcome to be around Him. You smell me? So whenever go on with sucker shit with individuals. I just let, let them deal with that dirt. You smell me? Let them be amongst the fuck niggas and lame ass bitches and shit. Cause if I be amongst them, then I'll be a fuck nigga and a bitch ass bitch too. You smell me? Talk to your talk. Now speaking, you bought the you bought the apartment. You bought it, and then you move your partners in. Right. <laughs> like speak, speak on that process. I think that <clears throat> I had a, a, a mansion over there on Lock with my right, right there. And back at Cascade, we had like a mansion on the lake. And then, you know, we growing up, now we 21, 22 years old and shit like that. And now niggas having more kids. Now I got more kids. I got Mario got more kids. All the niggas that been in these trap houses with me, we got more kids. I woke up one day and went on their side because I had the guest house and I let them get the main big ass house. So I, you know, I go over there because I got to make sure, you know, I got OCD real bad. So I go over there, make sure everything clean and shit, and I see about 10 goddamn kids running around this motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? Like, the house will never be clean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no what we do, this bitch ain't never gonna be clean. So I say, they was trying to sell me the house at that time for like seven, eight hundred thousand. But however, you know, back then, seven, eight hundred thousand was like four, five million of today's money. Mm -hmm. So I was like, shit. I need to give everybody their own goddamn apartment because we can't we can't raise a family like this. Right. Every person got to raise their own family. Every nigga in here need more than just a the closet. They need a kitchen. They need a living room. Mm -hmm. They need an extra room for kids. They need a kitchen. You know what I'm saying? They bitches run around here naked. Nigga, other niggas looking at their bitches and shit. So I say shit, instead of me spending my some 800000 I'm finna go buy some apartment for an M or two. You smell me? And I just got rid of the mansion, and I went over there and I bought the apartments, and I gave all the niggas that was in the mansion their own right. shit. So now, so I was never even thinking that years later they saying Rallo about apartments for the community because it was just for us because we needed some fucking where to go. You right. know what I mean? It wasn't on no shit like okay, Rallo finna be an investor and make money. I planned on living in this shit for the rest of my life. We, I planned on this. One day, being having a fucking chess table, gray as hell, living here, I just had to make sure we were straight forever. You smell right. me? Because I know this rap shit, this dope guy, and this shit don't last long. So I got to make sure I buy this shit so our kids will be straight. You know what I'm saying? I, I know that we going to be all right. We ain't got to pay no rent because a lot of niggas forget what is true peace. You smell me? Every nigga around, every person in the world wake up in the morning and they go to work to be able to prove to provide for their family, to be able to pay their rent, be able to pay their car note. And once we got rent out the way and we got reliable transportation out the way, if you don't got peace in that, then right. you're a fucked up person. Right. You're a fucked up person right. and you need, to, you need to check yourself. You need to check yourself yeah. because if a motherfucker provide you with housing and transportation, then um, 
you a fucked up person if you not just the happiest bitch in the world because, you know, at the point in my life, that's all I want. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Me and my mom, we caught the bus. And picked the one yeah. out since wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, that, and I was happy to get, get on the bus to go to an apartment. You know what I mean? And, you know, if, the, if you see somebody around you that's not, you know, at peace when they got that, then that's a fucked up person. You know what I mean? And you got to get rid of that shit because it threatens the village. Mm. It threatens the village, and that's when niggas start committing trees and start trying to, you know, spread false accusation to bring the king down mm-hmm. so he can be mm-hmm. king and, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, put rat allegations on Come you. Come on now, speak All the bullshit. Yeah. Because Talk they home. be wanting to take the king strong, you smell me? And you go, positions are not given, they're earned in yeah. life. Like, true positions, like, I ain't choose this shit, you smell me? Yeah. I, I want to be electrician. I ain't never want to be no drug dealer. Or none of that shit, but um, I I just got the, the money just kept coming and I just kept saving and I kept getting me more bigger re-ups and shit and I started investing in it and shit like that. But even at that point in time, I didn't have it in my brain that okay, Rollo is a kingpin drug dealer and all this shit. And so I got the charge. And I'm right, like, right. what the fuck y'all making me? I like DKYK LK, DKCYK LC. We ain't never thought that they would make this shit out of game. Like, what the fuck you mean? We was just a click in school. So all these things that occur later on in life that niggas worship or idolize a nigga out, that wasn't none of nothing that I intended on being glorified for. We needed the apartments to live right. for the kids, for us to have somewhere to stay for. Rollo won't be bitching about how clean this motherfucker need to be or, you know, we need a car because we got to get places and shit. All this type of shit, I, I didn't ever. I had, I bought both more dope because I needed more money to real. Right, right. I didn't buy ten bricks to say or a thousand pounds to say, oh, I bought a thousand pounds. Right. Nigga, I needed to re up. We need it, it, this shit. Got to go. <laughs> nigga yeah. need dope. Nigga need weed. <laughs> <laughs> like, this shit got to go. I went on the plane because goddamn, nigga, I, I been reing up like that. Y'all just got, y'all just caught me. Right. <laughs> 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 I been doing that. This shit, this shit happened when I was a little too small. It might have been a third, I mean, an ounce back then, and then a brick then, and then a two bricks, five, yeah. ten bricks. Y'all just luckily caught me. I used to get caught with little packs. I just caught me with a bigger pack. Right. And I was bitching about that one to re up again. That was crazy, man. Take it take through that experience, man, getting out that goddamn plane. Right. First of all, I'm a west side nigga. Right. I know you, I know of you, the old you. Right. Cause the new you don't do none of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> For the record. I used to be mad as hell. Right. Seeing you post all that goddamn money. But I knew it was helping on the rap side. Right. But as a nigga from the west side, I'm like, God, to be more careful. Nobody, they, they be bitching on niggas when we come through the airport with 35 Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> you just showed these folks a whole M bag. Oh, fast. I find that. I find that. <clears throat> you never think about like them folks gonna look at you. Cause if I got goddamn like you gotta think about them when you come out the house, you come out the house with five hundred dollars. You finna spend this on some gas, on something to eat, or some shit like that. That money went all my money. It was like little money to me. But, so like I'll show this little bit. I got a whole lot at the house. So. I'm not thinking like, like goddamn, these people thinking this because I know what I got. You smell me? Right. When you looking at a nigga that got, you know, I my plug had pallets of money. You smell me? So, you know, I had me a nice little bank roll and shit. So when I pull a million out of two or three, nigga, I still had a lot of dope put up. I still had a lot of weed. I still had a lot of money in the streets. I still had money saved up in other places. This ain't shit. Look, y'all, this ain't nothing to me. You know what right. I'm saying? So it meant the world to the people. Like, oh, he showed the Emma right. too. Oh, shit. You should see where it really... You do know that I'm selling drugs, right? And you do know, like, it's, this shit is everywhere. So and when I go in the club and shit, a nigga might owe me some money. He might owe me forty, fifty thousand. I throw it because I can just read him right up right here. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Right. <laughs> like, walk, I, I walk, got another pack walk, through the people. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is... I, I ain't never look at it like they viewed it or right, whether right. you viewed it. 
It's just some little real money, man. Look, y'all, I'm gonna get real. I still got shit going on. You can think about how the popo is, right? They like, what he going on a plane with a million dollars? Oh, in that aspect, when we asked for that question, oh, I was just having fun. But you flying private too now, right? right. Yeah. So But yeah. even posting it, you gotta think about it coming from the bluff, you know. Rent up with one ounce, so now I can go buy me 10, 20 bricks. You smell me? I can go buy me a thousand pounds of gas. Nigga, that shit make me feel good, and I want to show it. It ain't, it ain't fun having it if you couldn't show it. Right. Like, it's like a waste of life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why have this shit you can't show it? Like, yeah, fuck around the fuck show it to the wrong motherfuckers. Shit, it, fuck them too. I got it. We ain't deal with that later. Right. <laughs> I dealt with it too. You definitely did. You definitely did. We deal with that later. Because yeah. you, hey, so you like, said on say, G, like, you took a minute to come out, come out the plane. All right. You were like, shit, fuck it. I'm here. They know I'm in here. Nah, because, you know, I get in the hot box zone, you know. Every time the police get behind you, you been in one. Yeah. We, we, this bitch finna go over the median or something. We, we, I got to get away. Right. But on the jet, I'm like, damn, can I fly this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> hey, pull this bitch back off. Like, hey, this bitch. I'm leaving my parachute up. I got my parachute to go up in the air. So I get that motherfucker going up in the air. So I'm thinking of some shit like, it got to be a way. Like, I just can't go out like this. Like, they're going to suffer. Like, yeah, but oh, like, something got to happen here. Like, so I'm peeking out the front of that. They like, nigga, come on out. I'm like, OK, that don't, that don't. Yeah, that don't. So <laughs> that way. Remember the time? Oh, they was there too. Okay. You can't go through the front. Like, okay, now hold up. Now, it's something can happen there. I've never been in a position where well, you were just I was just fucked like that. I was like, okay, I ain't getting on my motherfucking plane again. At least on a boat or so I can swim. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just ain't giving like, up. Like, I just could go out like that. Like, like <laughs> I had to have, I had. I had to know they got me right. before I let them get me, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> infrastructure. <Yeah>. Infrastructure. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> infrastructure. So, mentally, right, when you was just like, I already know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Come with it. Right. Dig what I'm saying? Let me go down, go on top of shoes up right quick. Let me right. go ahead and see what's happening. Okay, let me take my glasses off. I got to look y'all in y'all eye. Right. She just got serious. Right. All right, what we talking about? What we doing? I think that, I think that, my mentality was, because even like, you know, when I'm going to Rice Street and I'm going to prison and George Department of Corrections, all my people stick, stuck together. Like, it was like, it was like I wasn't gone. Right, right. I still was able to run shit from prisons. I still was able to do me. I, you know what I'm saying? I know I had me, even when I'm catching me with this money, I know I got five more, ten more men in the street that I, I'm going to be straight. What fucked me up was, when everybody just left, I'm like, I call Pakistan, ain't nobody in Pakistan. What the hell you mean, ain't nobody in Pakistan? It be a thousand people in Pakistan. Ain't nobody here? Like, so that shit fuck you, are you like, did, did everybody just leave me or some shit like that? Then you start, like, they thought it was over with. Mm -hmm. You smell me? Right. They thought it was over with. And I was cool with it being over with as long as we stuck together. Right, right, right. Like, as long as we good, I'm, I do 30. As long as we do it together, you smell me? But when it gets to the point where, oh, we, this shit divided, like, nigga, we been together since we were kids. What the fuck is you talking about? We we not cool or bro be on this and that. Bitch, you been knew I was whatever flaw I had. You been knew that about me and you accepted it the whole 10, 20, 30 years we been together. Mm -hmm. So now since Sandbox, you been knowing whatever we had going on, whatever go on, you been knew these type of things. You been knew I was a fighter. You been knew even when we was in the trap and bird or meatball and that anybody in that bitch and Rollo and now uh, y'all been new to take these charges. You smell me? Y'all been new. I'ma try to finesse my way out this motherfucker with some kind of motion or loophole or something. Yeah. Like what the fuck y'all thought? Right. A nigga ain't gonna try to fight and get out this motherfucker, especially after all you bitches left me right. and ran out with my money. Oh, I gotta make a play. Gotta you say how to do this? Oh, we can pay somebody to take them charges that cause my niggas can't take it. Oh, we can pay somebody to take my, okay, let's go that route. Hey, you talking about, and then, oh, you try to do that. Oh, you're a rat. Nigga, I could have told on us when we was little. What right. the fuck? This, this Louise shit, you think I'm going to go out bad like this? So, like, when that shit changed the whole Rollo, because, nigga, this ain't what we have been on. Nigga, we, it's a problem now that goddamn we big and we rappers or we all this shit. 
you, 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 nigga in the trap houses in the bluff, niggas been paying to take charges. Oh, I can't say, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this now because we some kind of big nigga, oh, take your lick. Nigga, niggas been taking licks for me. Right. Niggas been taking licks for me, so. It's like they forgot us. <laughs> it's like, like, no, the same thing still applies right, here. Right, right. Like, infrastructure. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, got the infrastructure. You got, it's just on a bigger level. Yeah, right, right. You, okay, oh, you walked in that profit, you supposed to. Okay, motherfucker, this is just like running the affidavit. You, you got to go do this, too. You going to have to take your ass in this jail. You finna take this charge for me. This is what going on. Oh, take it, little oh, Nigga, don't supposed to do that. What the fuck we supposed to do? Right. We been doing this. Right. Oh, it's just a way. It's just a bigger way to do it. Okay, we not in the Honda no more. We in the Maybach. Right. You smell me? We not on the goddamn boat no more. We on a plane. Yeah. You smell me? So it's just levels to this shit that the ignorant people wouldn't know, especially a motherfucker that ain't never been in the trap house. That understand that that lifestyle. If you ain't never been in the trap house, you can't be talking about, oh, this is what goes on in the trap house. If you just going in there to buy your three five to smoke tonight, you'll never understand when that bitch get busted. And, and, and his guns and dope in that motherfucker that one person yeah. need to say is there. Yeah. Y'all need to have this agreed upon. So me telling a nigga, oh yeah, I had all my shit. Soon as we got out of jail, a nigga said, oh, it's mine, it's mine, it's not Rollo's. Police laughing, the Fed laughing, nigga, this ain't yours, it's Rollo's. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Oh, we gotta go do another one. We gotta go work this out another way. Cause I done found another way. And when, it pre- when the situation was presented to me, I'm like, hell yeah, we can do that. Why I pay the money? Right. <laughs> Why I spend the money? Even though they ain't go for the shit, but shit, we try. Right. Even if shit don't work out, at least we try. You know what I mean? And life niggas just give up and don't want to try nothing. They just, niggas is giving up. Don't never give up, bro. Like go, if you in that motherfucker and you got time, go to the law library, find a way out this motherfucker. Right. Don't sit, don't settle. Just like I was on the back of that jet. I'm like, man, got to be a way. Uh, it's a loophole. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> is, it a, is it a goddamn thing I can crawl with? Right, right. <laughs> you got to find, it's, it's about making a way, baby. So when they gave you the situation and you was like, you know what? I got to finagle my way and just go ahead and just take what? Take, take the lead. Right. Take the lead. Right. Cause you know they coming. Like you said, cause I saw it on the other interview, you were like, I ain't really care about that shit. It was other shit that led right. to that right. shit which came in the ass, but I. Right. You dig what I'm saying? So when it was all presented to you, and you like, all right, how can I run this shit? Can I run the concurrent? How can we? Now I think this? when the when situation happened, cause if that situation wouldn't have happened, then it would have been bad because now I got prosecution misconduct. Mm-hmm. So when I'm telling a nigga, I'm like, this is a prosecution misconduct. If I want to win and now try to finesse some folks, I want to have this prosecution misconduct. So now that I got the prosecution misconduct, if I can win this motion, then everything you prosecutors have done y'all whole career is tainted. So now mm-hmm. every nigga y'all convicted in trial and shit can come up for appeals and stuff like that. So now I got them in my bar quick. Okay, see. I want eight years, nigga. Give me eight years. So I signed for nine. I go on the courtroom and the judge said, I don't want to give him nine years. I gave, he gave me eight years. Cause he said that I did too much for the community. Wow. Even though everybody went enough saying I'm this massive drug lord and all this and stuff. Some kind of way that fucking judge just found doubt that he just was an amazing guy. He even used all my cars and shit that people was found in. He 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 put that shit as company cars for Rollo. You smell me? So they wouldn't just tear and stop cars. You know, that's law and shit, but the judge just took a lightning to me because you got niggas going in that bitch saying, yeah, Rollo sell dope, but he bought me apartments. Or Rollo sell dope, but he fed me. Or, right. And then you got all our, you know, we've been tapped for three, four fucking years. He got all my conversations where I'm looking out for mama and you, they bust my mama, how they bust my girl, how they bust. So when the prosecutor coming in that bitch, he bashing me. He saying, yeah, he bought his mom this house. He bought his girl this house. He bought his mom this car. He bought his sister this car. The judge is like looking at that shit like, oh, he did this, that for his family, for the homeless, right. for this and that. So he, the, the prosecutor thinking that it's he painted a picture. A bad picture of me, but the picture ended up good in the judge's eyes. You right. see what I mean? So Judge Brown was just like, man, 
I just don't feel like Mr. Davis deserved my nine years. I'm going to give him eight years. I already was locked up four years at that time okay. fighting. Cause, so I said, I would draw the prosecution misconduct thing if y'all agree to this judge giving me this time. And that when they said, I guess the murders and shit, they just stopped. They just stop. I mean, I don't, you know, it's no statute of limitation on no shit like that. But however, they stop pressing that issue on me and shit. Mm. That bad guys be bad guys. And I came on, went down the road, did my time. Came I'm back. Came back. Came back, bro. He to write a book, man. I don't want to write a book. It's rough on my birthday. Like February the 12th. Okay. Nigga need to read this shit real, real like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, real. What's the name of the book? <laughs> it's going to be called, um... <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be called um we we battling with the books and shit, but I want it to be called Diary of the Streets. Cause the series, cause they gonna make it a series mm-hmm. of movies. Uh, I mean, you know the little like TV series. Yeah, yeah. They gonna make it out of that, and I wanted the series to be called for American Gangster. You see what I mean? That was my whole dream. Why? Cause I t- I wrote this book while I was in prison these whole six years. You see what I mean? I wrote it out. You know, I sent it out and, you know, other people did. And then when I got out, I was able to get with um, LaShawn. LaShawn, that's my dog. She had love. She put me on Love & Hip Hop. She's a great person. I love her. Shout out to her. And she been helping me with it. And, um, you know, it just... Because I can put it out now, of course. But we we put a lot into it. You smell I me? Mean? And we wanted to be something massive and something big and something legendary. I don't want to rush it. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I talk on the phone with her for three hours. You smell I me? Mean? And and get this shit all the way right from from kids to now. You smell I me? Mean? So it's a three volume trilogy. Talk it. Okay. Talk it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, the new album. So on this album. You know, I really never wanted to sign with no label now, but I was in prison and, you know, they offered me some shit I couldn't, I couldn't resist, you right. know what I mean? So I was able to buy my mom a new house, I was able to get my girl a new house, I was able to get me some Maybacks and shit. I came home real good and, you know, <clears throat> so this album, I didn't want no features, you smell me? Because I wanted it to be personal, you smell me? Because, you know, when you go into these features and shit, you starting to rap for the people. Mm-hmm. And that ain't something that I want to do because that ain't how I won. I won just being Rollo. You see what I mean? I won by people being able to, you know, feel my story and feel. Because when I started rapping, they were like, his voice squeaking, his voice squeaking. But other motherfuckers was, was gravitating towards him was like, damn, I fuck with y'all. Mm-hmm. So when you go into these features and shit, that shit started. Unless, unless it's a nigga like DC Young Fly that I can fuck with, unless it's a song with some shoot 'em up bang bang that I can put a little ace on him because he going through that situation. Or is it something that can relate to another nigga that I fuck with? Then I'd be like, okay, I need you on this one. Okay. Like Anthony Hamilton, I grabbed okay. him because, yeah. you know, I was rapping and I felt him in the song, so I added him on. Or K. Michelle, I heard her on the song. I put her on that motherfucker. Lil' Anti, we vibe now. You know, I paid it money, things that matter. Throw him on that motherfucker. Or, you know, Moochie and them, you know, they paper route, so I gotta put it. So it's just a couple people I had to put on now because these are my family members, but I ain't wanna go into, like, dealing with this old bitch ass industry. You smell right. me? Because these niggas some bitches, and they some hoes, and you know, and that shit'll make you go get your gun. No, no, no cap. But I hear you say R.I.P. Dolph a lot. You dig what I'm saying? Like, take us through the process that you mean Dolph, cause Dolph was a real. I mean, you know, all this rap shit started with my boy Scooter, and you know, you know, at times I be want him to say the same shit because I met Dolph with Scooter. You smell me, but. During that time, I guess me and him cleaned a little harder. Even like, you know, cause me and P real tight, or mm. me and Gucci real tight, or me, you know, we everybody got you fuck with him in a way that I fuck with him not, you know what I'm saying? We all it's just like the same thing. So like right. with Dolph, it just took my heart because young boy, I might be on the phone with young boy inside a goddamn Robert A. Dane facility, four hours, Dolph, five hours. And you know, 21 Savage hours. So like, we end up developing. Cause when you down and you start talking to these people, you like, damn, why my real friends that I grew up like Bird or Meatball or all these different people? 
I grew up with, why we not on the phone for five hours? And I'm on the phone with a nigga from Memphis. Five, six hours, put mine on my book. A lot of these niggas that been with me all my life, I can't even get a dollar from them, and they owe me money. You see them? So, Damn. niggas like Dolph stole my heart. Cause I never, cause at that, that when that fed, when the feds came and got me, a lot of niggas thought it was over for me. So for them to come on in and still embrace me, that shit just stole me. You know what I'm saying? So, and then when he died, and you know, I got kids and looking at his kids be out here like that, and you know, it just be hard for me to ignore that shit because. This, I was just talking to this man, you know what I'm saying? He was sending me my, my girl money, buying my kids clothes and shoes and shit. And when I got out, you know, I'm just on some shit, you know. And I ain't, you know, I ain't never want to inherit a nigga beef with nothing like that. It just was, man, I just got it fucked up in my head that his kids out here without a father. And I just was in jail with my kids without a father and he ain't coming back. That motherfucker ain't coming back, so it be like hard, right? It be like, should be like hard, bro. That should be hard, bro. For me, it's just annoyed, bro. Like, that should be like killing me, bro. Like, for niggas just to forget about him, you feel me? Like, for niggas to forget about him, bro, that shit like be fucking me up, bro. Cause I see niggas that introduced me to him, and niggas that used to be with us, to be like, fuck him. They just say, fuck the man. You smell me like, he used to be with us. And he got kids out here. Girl out here. She ain't got no man to go home to. Can't even take a shower with a nigga. You smell me? So like, bro. That shit be fucking with me, bro. That shit be fucking with me. So whenever the sadness come out, the anger start coming. Like, and, it, and I don't be meaning to like goddamn snapping shit in songs or online. It's just that shit be in me, bro, and it's just be like, fuck everybody, I'm with him. I die for this shit, you know what I'm saying? He died. So that shit just be fucking with me, bro. Like, even like with Lucha and all the real, all the niggas that looked out for me while I was in jail, like, I go so hard for them, not for no fucking cloud, bro. Like, I really have, like, real love for these people, you know what I mean? And maybe, you know, a nigga might not love me the same, but that's just how my heart is, you know what I mean? And I don't, I don't know how to not do that, you know what I mean? I don't know how to not motherfucking care or, or not represent or not keep their name alive or not go hard for their kids, but I don't know how not to do it because I want this shit done to me. If I was dead, I would want him to do the same thing for me. You smell me? I want niggas to keep saying my name in songs and keeping my name alive and looking out for me, bro. So I don't know how, like, if, a, if bitches and niggas be always telling me to stop and why I'm in here with the niggas beef and shit like that, bitch, I just don't know how not to. You smell me? I ain't, I just don't know how. I don't know how to stop. So that's where I'm at with it, and I don't know how to get the fake, get the fuck away from it, maybe. I need some counseling or some shit. I don't know what the fuck I need, but I'm just stuck right there. That's a real nigga. I'm stuck on the phone with Dolphin and got down my prison cell. And that's all I remember. And that's all I can go for, bro. That man, <clears throat> bro, that man, that man did shit for me he ain't had to do. Did shit for me he ain't had to do, bro. Video, you know how much I had to pay for this for a video? How much I had to pay these niggas for features? Play my song, come to an interview, come to a club with me. Trying to get my shit out of the motherfucking ground and go on, and he did it for free. I'm in the cell calling, begging niggas for features. Bro, please get on the song so I can get a motherfucking bag from guys at Empire. Please get on the song, these bitch ass niggas wouldn't do it. He did it. Anytime I called him. So, I don't know how. I don't know how. Like, I needed money. I need, I ain't wanna ask a nigga for no money, so I asked a nigga, let me work for it. Let me got down, give me a song or something so I can go present this shit. And then you come out here, then you got bitch ass niggas, oh, I don't, I don't know if I'ma fuck with Rallo, cause maybe he'll snitch or something. So, you know, I, I you know that shit fuck with me. I be wanna spass out on they puss ass about that too. So when you get in that element, you just be like, look, 
You ain't even gotta be with me publicly. And you ain't even gotta like my shit or comment up under my shit. When, I'm gonna do the favor for you. Fuck you. Cause, and I ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it public, I ain't gonna goddamn make no diss songs about you, I ain't gonna say nothing. But nigga, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? And I'll beat your ass. Yeah. Or you'll beat my ass. Or we can go to war or whatever you want to do. I don't, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to take it down, but I'm going to defend the village, you smell me? But i do you a favor, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't, we ain't even got to play like we, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to do that because doing that sucker shit, that shit really uh, causes a real nigga to just goddamn go fucking crazy with that pistol, you smell me? So we just going to, just like the beginning of this, I'm just... Push myself away from it. And I still like your shit. And I still comment on your shit. And you ain't gotta comment on my shit or like my shit. But the people right here in this world, the real people, see the pussy ass shit you doing. I ain't gotta say it. They see it. Oh, watch such and such. Watch such and such post your shit. Cuz, he a bitch ass nigga. He a hoe. He a pussy ass nigga. And I ain't. And I still post that shit when they shit come out. You know what I mean? It's just. I'm standing on that because I got to die like that. I want to go to my Lord being who I am and standing on bidding it because these niggas don't know how to be men. These niggas don't know how to be themselves and be happy with themselves. You smell me? Because they care about what another motherfucker say about them. Me? I don't give a fuck. You smell me? I know how to go give me some money. I know how to go give me some money. If I don't know how to do nothing, I know how to go give me some money. I can go get that shit from the mud. I go cut grass, I go wash cars, <laughs> whatever it is. I know how to go get me some money to the point where I won't need because now I'm out here, I don't need you. You know what I mean? When I needed you, you went down. So right now, why y'all act? It's a, it, it, nigga, every time you see me, I'm going to go up on Instagram. I'm going to go up and you be like, why are you always posting everything? Because them bitches didn't send me anything. Right. And I got to make them bitches see. I got to, why you always posting shit? I got to show them bitches that them bitches did not bury me. I'm coming up out this motherfucker. Hey, bitch, I'm out here. Every chance I get, every chance I get, it's legitimate now. And guess what? Every every time I see them like a car, I'm going to buy it because I know they like it. And if, if they, they got a bitch they like, I flirt with them, make that whole, you know what I'm saying? If they got an outfit, oh, they're like, they just, that's nice shoes. I go buy them, I put them on. You smell me? Whatever they like, I'm going to go get it. You smell right. me? Because you can't go get it. <laughs> 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 you want to go get it? Get it. 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 Oh, that's your first time to stop through here, man. Don't let it be the last, man. man Tell them where they stop. can find the album and all that good shit. Hey, man. My welcome home. You know, I went through um hell trying to figure out what we're going to name this album. And... The label said, man, you need to stick with Welcome Home because it's a legacy. It's like, you can always go back to that album. Mm -hmm. It's like clothes in your closet. I remember I wore this outfit. I wore this outfit in 2017 for my birthday. Now, 2018 on my birthday, February 12th, I wore this shirt and these shoes. So, it be certain outfits and shit that I go get and it just put me back in that. Put back in that mold. And it make me feel like I felt that night, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to come on the show feeling like that. It's not, you smell me? So, like, the yeah. album, they named it Welcome Home, Rilo, so I can get that feeling in 10 years from here. Yeah. Or my kids can get that feeling 10 years from here or whatnot. It just, you know what I'm saying? You can go get it, you know, you can listen to it. It's on all streaming platforms. And really, honestly, you ain't even got to go see it because I'm going to make sure you see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be on every blog. Because if you don't follow me, you're going to follow dope. <laughs> you going to see it. I bet that you go get it and help me get some money. Turn a nigga up. Go listen to my shit a couple times. Go view my video. You helping me and my family. I appreciate all the support. So download my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Man, we got some shit. Man, yeah. It's the Rollo package. It's the Rollo package. Yeah. Rollo pack. yeah. <laughs> so... You feel me? Come on, man. It's yeah. 85 South shit, man. Look yeah, here, man. man. We can kick this shit all night. Welcome home, Rollo. Yeah, 85 yeah. South Show.
Try to make a nigga crap, baby. Come on, yeah, man. Right. What's up, it's man? Carlos Miller. Look, you know the 85 South Show is back on tour with the Big Business Tour. This year, we're hitting the road and we're bringing comedy, culture, and chaos to cities all across the country. And we want you to be a part of it. We're looking for partners in every city, whether you're a local business or a national brand. This is your chance to get in on the action. Don't miss the opportunity to sponsor a show and connect with our incredible audience. If you're interested, just hit the email on the screen and let's make big business happen together. The 85 South Show Big Business Tour is coming to a city near you. You know, you know, well, like that with Georgia, the, the school, yeah. University of West Georgia. Nigga, yeah. I go down there and do a show. I'm talking about police is literally laughing, doing the whole nine. Homecoming, out. These folks pay me homecoming. Nigga, I'm leaving the you. premises. I see the police coming across the campus. They going like, Whoo. I'm like, damn. They coming in. They going <laughs> to get somebody. Get somebody. somebody. I'm like, like fuck <laughs> University of West Georgia. Let go. Nigga, by the time we get up out of here, man, all the police behind me, nigga. Pull me over. Get me out the car. They like, yeah, man, you know, we smelled weed before you got into school. And I was like, I ain't yeah. smoked no weed before I went on no school camp. Y'all nigga tripped, so y'all waited there. Y'all plotted the whole the time. The whole time. When I was in school, making everybody laugh, I took a picture with you. You and you. <laughs> they might have just been fucking shit. with you. You know what happened? No, no Fly, you know no what happened? Weed, nigga. Fly, you know what happened? You know what happened? What happened? They found out how much you was getting paid. They and they looked at how much they was getting yeah. paid. And they said, oh, no, fuck that. We ain't that. having that. Hey! 